Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Miss Dora. Today's video is just gonna kind of be a rant, I guess. We're, we're gonna be talking about today the state of Resident Evil Reverse, right? I don't wanna say the sorry state, the bad state, or the good state. I really don't know what kind of state that this game is in, right? Because I originally was singing this game's praises when it first came out. It was really unfortunate that it was delayed. It was initially supposed to come out as soon as Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil Village had dropped, right? But it was delayed, unfortunately. But even still, when we did eventually get the game, I was pretty happy with what we got because I saw this game, at least I thought I saw this game, for what it was supposed to be, which is a you know fun distraction, fun side Resident Evil game that holds some of the bigger fans over in between releases, not even just mainline releases, just releases in general, the remakes plus the, the mainline games, you know, with content for those diehard fans, just, you know, as a fun arcade game to keep them doing something Resident Evil in between this game. And that's what I thought that this was supposed to be. And we had a content a, a update roadmap for this game. And based on what kind of content was actually in that roadmap, I, I don't know if Capcom actually plans to turn this game into what I mentioned earlier, that kind of, this kind of really decent, you know, really good, actually I'll say really good Resident Evil game that holds us over because uh, even to this day, my complaint with the game is not that it's not fun. It is a fun game that has a solid foundation and a lot of potential, but my whole point of this rant is, I just don't feel like Capcom is utilizing the potential of this game to its fullest, right? Let's take a look uh, kind of a brief summary of what we got in this update. So we got a bunch of new skins, to be fair, a bunch of new, some pretty good skins, actually, uh, for this game. And, you know, some new perks. We got, you know, four new characters. Wow, like four new characters. I'll talk about that. But four new characters, that's a good amount of characters in the short amount of time this game's been out. And I think, like, two new maps. Dang, that's, you know, that's eight. That's not bad, you would think. <laughs> that's not bad, right? But four of those characters have all been from Chris's Wolfhound Squad. I think it's called, forgive me if I said the name wrong, but yeah. All four of these guys have been from Wolfhound Squad, and it's like one of the things that Resident Evil does best as a franchise is its iconic, memorable, and lovable cast of excellent characters, and we're just not pulling from that. I get it. You know, Wolfhound Squad was already in the assets of Resident Evil Engine, therefore easy to implement, but we're not going to bring Carlos in for Resident Evil 3 Remake. He was one of the things that people loved most about that game mad easy to implement. We're not gonna bring Albert Wesker? Shava Alomar people have been craving, going crazy to please add Shava Alomar in the game. And hell, if we're talking about assets that are already in the game, we're not gonna bring in Mother Miranda as a level two, you know, infect bioweapon that you could play if you get two bioweapon samples, like, or even, you know, Donna Benevieto, like as, as a level one, you know, with her little doll that runs around. There's just so much miss opportunity even when you consider the assets that are already in this game that the state of this game feels like the fans have a certain expectation of what it's going to be and capcom just doesn't really seem to care and the crazy part is it it feels like it's just easy money on the table for capcom it, it there's none of this should be hard to implement right like we got you know wolfhound squad or whatever but Instead of characters that no one really cares about, yeah, at some point maybe introduce these guys, but four back-to-back -back clone characters just shows the audience that you don't really care about this game. Why not, if we're gonna do like a squad of characters, why not do stars? Brad Vickers already has a model in the game, in, 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 in Resident Evil Engine, RE Engine, so why don't we just do Brad Vickers? You know what I'm saying? Like he's already in the game. At some point we could implement what each of the stars members was good at as, as their abilities. And not only characters, there's no additional game modes. Like I said, the gameplay is not what's wrong with this game. It, it, as far as just a good time as an arcade shooter that you don't even need friends to kill, but just a game to play by yourself, a good little arcade shooter, it's fun. But no new game modes? No more maps, and we have assets for some of the most memorable creatures of all time. Why are liquors not in this game? All that stuff feeling so simple and easy to implement into this game, but it's just not being implemented. Sh kind of tells us fans, us really hardcore Resident Evil fans, that Capcom does not have the kind of plans for this game that we initially thought they might have. And it seems brain dead. Make this game free to play, 
bring everyone in and it's just gonna make so much money like because for one a lot of the stuff that's in the market like some of the skins that you can buy are not badly priced like a lot of the stuff you have to unlock via battle pass or with the in-game currency in-game currency also is plenty plentiful it does not take a lot to of time to really get a good amount of in-game currency saved up but i digress in-game currency unlocks and you know real world money purchasable unlocks outside of the battle pass like if you're just going to straight up buy a skin all that stuff is pretty fair in terms of price so it's like people will not mind shelling out the cash to get their hands on some of this stuff if we just made it free to play like thankfully i'll say even on like a tuesday night i'm still getting full lobbies i'll say that's not the issue i'm still getting games you know full lobbies occasionally i am seeing a little bit more often four player five player games but it's still not enough to where i would say it's a massive issue but i don't know for how long that's going to be the case if Capcom doesn't really start pushing um to put some of the content that I feel like fans are truly gonna love in this game. I'm hoping, I'm gonna say it's a shame that they're not doing it, but my hope is that as Resident Evil 4 Remake gets closer, now that some of those assets are going to be in RE Engine, that we might see like a, you know, a Ganado infected uh, as a playable character or maybe an alternate Leon with different abilities. Not just an RE4 skin, I think there's already an RE4 skin, but maybe an alternate Leon, an alternate Chris that have different abilities. I'd rather, honestly, that, like an alternate version of Claire that has different abilities, rather than just these Wolf Squad guys that all look the same and are clearly just clones. And the crazy part is, is they're introducing all these new characters. They don't even have new weapons. They, like, all, almost all, like, two of them have their Dragoon. Two of them have the Dragoon. With all these characters, across four characters, they may be introduced three new weapons. That's insane considering that each of them has a primary and a sidearm. <laughs> it's, it's honestly, I, I just, I can't wrap my head around it. It's honestly confusing just how much Capcom is dropping the bag with this game because when it comes to Resident Evil, I massively prefer this game over to something like, you know, Resident Evil Resistance, like our resistance or whatever it was called, right? From Resident Evil 3 Remake. That just felt so uninspired, so unworthy of even being a, a side mode. That to where at least this is fun to play. This is fun to play. The, the asymmetrical nature of Resident Evil Resistance just didn't feel fun from a gameplay perspective, but at least this does. So it just feels like Capcom is dropping the ball so much, especially when you consider the fact they don't have a free to play game that generates revenue for their Resident Evil series as they're trying to develop these titles. That would help massively with the quality of these games because there's a few games that haven't got remakes yet, you know what I'm saying? Um, Resident Evil R Remake has not gotten a next next gen remake to say, and Gordon Monica has not gotten a remake either. So having this free to play game that, well, I'm not saying they should make it free to play, having a game like this, if they made it free to play, that just continually generates revenue for Capcom as they're gearing up to produce, you know, and, and make these remakes and these other Resident Evil games just makes so much sense. So why does it not make sense to Capcom? I don't get it. And maybe these, you know, all this stuff might be pointless. Maybe this is their plans. But as of right now, where the game stands, the roadmap is done. They've done the roadmap. It's honestly surprising with how fast they've put out all these roadmap updates, but they've put out all the major roadmap updates, if I'm not incorrect. They've showed no plans on an additional roadmap, one in the line. So from the fans perspective, it just kind of feels like, yo, they're planning on, like they've done everything they plan to with this game. It's radio silent for what's coming next. And what we thought this game was gonna turn out and shape up to be, it isn't so far and it's a shame because i told all my friends how much fun this game actually is to just you know turn your brain off for an hour or two and just hop in a few lobbies and have some good old-fashioned fun the game needs some love don't get me wrong it's not perfect even in just the gameplay it desperately needs balancing uh, chris is chris redfield is my main but i'd be lying if i was saying he wasn't horrendously broken he needs readjustment uh you know i think it's not lobo it's hound wolf i can't remember there's another one of the Chris's squad mates, the one that uses the drone, 
he is super underpowered. His drone feels almost useless. And I thought he was going to be the coolest character. I was so excited to have a character that uses a drone, you know, in this game. And he honestly feels useless. So the game needs some other work outside of just, oh, additional content, like characters, more maps and more game modes. Like, yeah, man, can we get some more game modes? I know this is a rant. So in typical rant format, I'm going to go all over the place. Can we get some game modes, dog? Can we get, you know, team deathmatch? Can we get big team deathmatch, like a bigger map? Like Resident Evil has some truly iconic um, locations. How much of a pain in the butt would it be to make RPD bigger and make it a 12 player match? <laughs> or are you like 6v6? Like, come on. Like, I, it seems really easy to implement some of this. It seems like from our perspective as fans that for a little bit of development effort, Capcom would receive such a return in terms of, mon in terms of you know, monetization from the fans. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping, you know, shortly after I make this video, as we go into the next year, as RE4 Remake is right around the corner, Capcom's like, hey, now that RE4 Remake's coming around the corner, let's share all of our plans for RE-verse. We got a lot planned for this game that's gonna, now that RE4 Remake is coming out, that will hold you over up until the next Resident Evil game comes out. I hope I'm wrong and that's actually what ends up happening because they've already got the solid framework to make something that's going to hold us Resident Evil fans over for a while to come. Yeah, I know fans um, still want some other type of Resident Evil games, you know, like Outbreak, like, like, like uh, I think it's Outbreak Files and stuff like that. But for me personally, I'm not saying this is the best way to hold us over, but it is nice to still whet my appetite with something Resident Evil based while um, I feel like I'm kind of always involved in the Resident Evil universe if I'm playing this game every now and then while I'm waiting for something Resident Evil to come out plus it's just a dang shame because I see the potential this game has. I think it could be something amazing if Capcom just showed a little bit more care into it and at least I hope that's what's going to end up happening. Anyways y'all that's my two cents that's my little spiel my rant on this whole thing, you know what I'm saying? My name is Minstore. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all be easy, and I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.